This world shall know pain. Almighty push! I will not let you destroy my world! Boy, just psycho. Welcome back to the channel, man. It's your boy, just psycho. Today, I'm gonna show you guys at least some of the things that's loaded on your computer. Basically, what you guys are gonna get out of this video is basically make your computer faster and like basically just remove some of the, the RAM usage that your computer is using. And you can have that RAM usage that you just release to play your games freely without your game lagging. So, first thing we're gonna go on, we're gonna start off the video is just go down to your, your search bar right here. You're gonna type in background, background apps. Wait, okay. You should see it like this. Open your settings. It's gonna be in your settings. So wait for it. Okay. So let's. These are the backgrounds. App, background apps. So so choose which apps that you can run in the background. Basically, I recommend you guys to turn all of them off. But if you wanna like say keep your your camera on. For like for like making your videos and shit, I recommend you to do that. Um, keeping your 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 um your Intel graphics come on center center on. I recommend you doing that. But if y'all just want to turn all them off, which I which what uh, I do, y'all can do that. I recommend you guys to just turn everything off. So like that, and you should your computer should be moving faster, boys. Like that, everything's off and your computer should be moving faster. So Let's next thing to the next is to go to the startup apps. Startup apps, and then you're just gonna open the settings and then other settings. So, yeah, these are all the startup apps. Wait, so we got all these in here. Probably, y'all have probably like more in your startup apps, but this is what I have dressed now. You guys can see I got the RBX FPS unlocker in here, which I really need to start up every time my computer boots up. Because I, you guys, if y'all don't know, I, I post Roblox content on the channel, and I need this to like kind of like make my FPS go higher. So that's kind of a good thing. That's kind of a good thing. And we have the the Cortana. I keep that on for some reason. I don't know why. And we got my Steam. You can turn that off. You can turn them off. Some of them off. You can turn out get off some of them. Update checker. I'm gonna leave that on. You can turn off Skype, which I re recommend you guys to do, and yeah, I'm gonna turn off Cortana. You can, you guys can do that, which is really helpful. So I recommend you guys to do that. Okay, so yeah. The next thing is what you guys can do is let me show you guys what you guys wanna do. I'm gonna go to your graphic settings. This is for like the gamers. It's for the gamers. What you can do is yeah, you have the game that you play, right? What you want to do, type in graphic settings in your like type bar right here, your search bar right there, and you, it's going to bring you to this page right here. This is the page it's going to bring you to. So what you want to do is go and browse, and what you're going to do, it's going to bring you to your file explorer, and you're going to see your the game that you play. For me, it's Roblox. It's in my desktop. It's on my desktop. Look, let me show you guys. Oh, I can't show you, but it's on my desktop, and you will see the file right here. Anything that's on your desktop is going to be right here. So I play Roblox and this is the Roblox player right here that y'all can see. I press on that and and what you guys can do is go to options and go to graphics preference preference and just put it on the highest quality, the high performance. So this should be running on your GP GPU now. You can save that. Okay. Okay. So I got I download this. It's called the Med Mem Redux, Memory Redux. It's in the description. It's up top of the description right now. If I want to go check this out, it's actually one of the best things to kind of like make your computer move, uh, move faster. I, re I really recommend it for you guys to get it. So what you want to do is after you download it, after you get the site, you go down, you download the memory duct. Okay, so this is what you should see. So you said, welcome to memory duct setup. Setup will guide, um, will guide you through the installation of the memory duct. Let's press next. And then you can just scroll down. You can just read through if you want. But I just I recommend you guys just press agree to make everything shorter. And then you can choose the destination folder. Okay, so that's everything right there. You can change it if you want. I recommend clicking this off. Don't. It's already recommended, but you can just 
put it on if you want store settings in application but you don't have to do that just keep that unchecked and you should be good the next and then you can run it but we're gonna run it boys for the first time so let's press finished and it should be good so this is what it looks like memory duct as you guys can see I can get, I'm getting over 2 point 2 point gig and 2.5 gig right now so what you guys have to do go to file up here go to settings and then go to memory clean memory mem memory clean sorry guys um, and then what you, what you want to do is go make sure you tick these they're, they're, these are gonna be unticked so you, what you guys do make sure you click them and then you should should press on this and just like clear it to zero and what you want to clean when it's above 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 like 45 and put this on one so it's gonna clean it's gonna clean when it's about 40 uh, above 45 and it's gonna clean every one minute and that's what I always that's the settings I'll always use because everything moves faster that way so you want to close that and clean your memory and it should be good as you guys can see I'm getting over two point it doesn't really it didn't change because my settings were already applied so it's okay but one thing will change you're probably gonna go back in here and you're gonna see this going go, go back to 1000 but you don't you don't have to worry it's gonna be because it's gonna stay the same it's just a glitch right now so yeah oh that's it guys so that's, that's it for this tip and we're gonna move on to the next tip right now okay the next tip is to clear up all your files that, that are like your computer is running right now so what you got what I mean by that is basically what you gotta gotta do press on your keyboard press the Windows key and R to open up this this tab right here and what you guys gonna do is typing T E P M T M P temp and just gonna press enter on your keyboard and there should be files in in here and what you want to do is like like do this like this thing right here like you see I'm doing copy everything or you can just press control a and it should copy everything and you just want to press delete on your keyboard and it should be you should every file that, that's in here is is the, should um should be deleted sometimes however sometimes your computer is going to ask you to some so like some files that your computer is currently using is going to ask you if you want to continue and or you just want to skip it I recommend you skip it because sometimes the computer is using these files and it's going to like not going to delete if you want so don't force yourself to like to try to delete the files okay so open your temp file again what you want to do is I mean don't open the temp file I mean open up your run again open the run system and then what you want to type in is percent tmp and then percent again at the end and temp so you should see some files again in here I already did this already guys so I'm telling you, this works 100% this works 100% because I already did it and it works so what you want to do is just delete everything that's in here as I said before if your computer is using the file it's not gonna let you delete it but that's okay just press skip if it's not deleting okay so that's the next one and then we got one more what the for what am I went out from there for some reason my tax spread just went up there um okay so what you want to do now is Windows key Windows key again and R and then you want to type in prefetch this time prefetch and then you can see see prefetch and then press OK and it should take you to this take you to this menu right here so what you guys want to do is you, either you can control and A which is gonna select every file in this folder or you can just drag like this and just go to like that but I recommend just just doing control A you know what I'm saying so yeah let's do it again prefetch and then just can copy them like this with your mouse or just press control a and just press delete on your keyboard See, this is what I'm saying this action can't be complete because the file is open on the sys main system main so it's probably gonna say continue right for this right here or you can try again but sometimes it's not gonna be deleted because your computers actually using this file so what I do is just do this for all current items and just press skip it's gonna, it's gonna be still in this folder, but it's okay and I recommend doing those those steps when you're like you're gonna turn off your computer or you're just gonna like you know what I'm about I'm done for the night and whatever so just do that when you're gonna um, before you go to like your bed or something and then for the last tip this is for the gamers again what you guys want to do is go to your task your, your search bar right now here and you want to type in game settings game mode does that no game type in game mode settings and you should open it to open it up what y'all want to do is if you are a gamer you should keep this setting on at all times because this actually 
like it basically just like tell your computer that yo I'm playing this game right now I need my computer at the best performance so everything that's like running when your computer is start up and you, when you like boot into a game or something you, your computer is gonna say oh he's playing a game let me turn these things off basically that's what I'm trying to say that's what this game mode shit does right here and yeah well hope you guys understand I recommend keeping it on because it's good for playing your games so that's gonna wrap it up for this video guys if you like the video make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel turn on the post notifications to be notified when the video is out and comment down below comment down below which if these um tricks or tips and tricks works for you and thank you guys for watching hope you guys had an amazing time watching my video it's me and boy just like oh hope you all having a good day as uh, as always and peace and yeah thank you for the 60 subs peace